In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how easy it is to create content for your site that can eventually get traffic from Pinterest. From what I've seen, quite a lot of people who are subscribed to my channel are still beginners. They don't know how to create good content, how to do it fast and how they can do it for free. So this tutorial is mainly for beginners. If you've been doing it for a while, you probably know all of that stuff already. But if you are just starting out, in the next five minutes, you're going to learn how to create a good article with real images that are not AI images and how you can do it completely for free. For the purpose of this video, we are going to write an article about cats, specifically about cat care tips. This is Pinklix. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it's my favorite keyword research tool. And from what I've seen, this is a pretty good keyword we can definitely create more content about it to get traffic from Pinterest. I'm not going to talk about creating pins and all of that stuff. That's a whole different story. But before you start posting pins, you need to write an article. And since it's a good keyword, I think it's going to be a good example for you. So let's use that keyword and our article title can be, for example, seven cat care tips you need to know. It's as simple as that. And to write this article, we can use this prompt, which is completely free. It's available inside of the description of this video that you are currently watching. You can get access to this Google Docs document. You can just copy the entire prompt and then go to ChatGPT. When you go to ChatGPT, just paste the prompt and at the top, replace insert article title here with the title of your article. So in our case, it's going to be seven cat care tips you need to know. And that's it. Just hit enter and just wait. And just like that, we have a full article about seven cat care tips you need to know. It's all done. Seven tips for cat owners. And yeah, all that stuff to do is to just copy it all to our site. Then we'll have to add images and that's pretty much it. The content is done. So you can just select the entire article, just copy everything and go to WordPress. Inside WordPress, you simply have to paste it and then just add the title, seven cat care tips you need to know. And if you want, you can keep these little lines here, but of course you can delete it. It depends on your preference. Personally, I think that I'm gonna delete these lines because I'm not a huge fan of these on my websites. Okay, so we've got the article, it's all optimized. And now all that we need to do is to simply add images. So for images, if you don't want to pay for any image generation tools or to use AI, well, there are some sites where you can access pictures for free. And the first one of them is Unsplash. You can go to unsplash.com and you can get access to hundreds, thousands or even millions of photos and illustrations that you can use for free and you don't even have to add any credit that it comes from Unsplash. You can use it completely for free. To access some of the premium images on the platform, you need the paid plan which costs a few dollars per month. Personally, I'm not using it because the free library is so huge that you don't really need to pay anything to get access to thousands of images anyway. So since we are writing an article about cat care tips, we obviously need some images of cats. So let's just type in cats and let's see what images we can find. And most of these images are free unless they have that kind of icon here. That's for Unsplash Plus. And since we are optimizing the article for Pinterest, it's better if you use vertical images. We don't want square images. We don't want horizontal images. We want long images because we want to make people stay on our site as long as possible. And if all of our images are long vertical, it means that people will be scrolling more. And in the end, it's going to lead to a better average session duration, which only improves our stats. It allows us to make money with ads, make more money with ads. And generally, if the people stay longer on your site, it can impact your reach on Pinterest as well, because it signals to Pinterest that people are staying on, their, on your site. What we can do, we can simply just click on that image and just download it for free. And we can choose the small resolution as an example, because that image is going to be more lightweight. And since our article is about seven cat care tips, we probably need like five images, maybe six. We don't need too many images because obviously we want it to be 
just normal we want it to be a normal article not overcrowded with images so let's just download some of these cat images that one looks cool let's download it let's go to the next one that ginger cat looks cool as well now we have three images let's grab that white cat as well and let's see what else we have here that cat looks cute let's download this image and let's grab that cat and now we have like six images that we can add on our site so all we have to do is to just drag the image here and now the image is added to our wordpress post we can do the same with all of those images and in a minute we will have a full complete article optimized with vertical images that are great for pinterest we also need one image which is horizontal as the featured image so let's grab these two baby kittens and let's use it as the featured image all right so that's the final article seven cat care tips you need to know we've got all of these images that look very nice these images make the article way more interesting it's all optimized for pinterest and it's all natural because we are not using AI. So let me just publish that article to show you how it looks on the site. Okay, so this is our article that we created completely for free. We didn't pay anything for the content. We didn't pay anything for the images. And it all looks very natural because these are real images. The content is actually good and it's just awesome. We could just create a pin that would link to that article and we could start generating traffic straight away so generally using platforms like unsplash to get access to these images is great because you get access to real images and if ad networks sometimes reject sites because of the ai images well maybe if you are using completely natural realistic and real images well maybe it's gonna help you avoid rejections and you know it took literally just a few minutes to create this article and if you would spend a few hours an afternoon or an evening just creating articles like that one you could do articles about each specific cat breed dog breed stuff like that i'm sure that you would create a lot of content that you could potentially promote on pinterest and in the end after a few months you could actually build a very good and high quality website so overall if you don't want to pay for any automation tools or tools that can help you bulk generate content if you want to do it manually and just spend a few more minutes or hours doing it that's fine you can do it completely for free if you want this method works and it creates very good high quality content the main issue with this method is that it can be tricky if you are creating very specific content i mean if you are creating a recipe or something for a very specific type of a casserole or something it may be difficult for you to find the right images for that exact article when it comes to cats it's pretty easy because we can use any image of any cat and it can work for cat care tips however if you are writing an article about beef casserole with paprika or something then it may be tricky to find just the exact image that's gonna fit but for some smaller niches like pets parenting cleaning gardening or i don't know something related to hobbies or sports well this method can definitely work because on unsplash Honestly, there are thousands of different images that you can find. The other platform that I also recommend, just like Unsplash, is called Pexels. It's just the same. It has a lot of different royalty-free images. So if you can't find the image on Unsplash, well, there is a chance that you will find it on Pexels instead. So honestly, I highly encourage you to check out these two platforms. And when it comes to the prompt that I used for this article, it's available in the description completely for free as well so just go to this google doc just copy the prompt and use it however you want but of course creating articles is just one part of this entire business model because 
even if you have 100 articles, you need to learn how to actually promote these articles on Pinterest. And you know, building traffic with Pinterest is a whole different thing. But if you want to speed up your entire process, if you want to learn more, I encourage you to check out the Pin Lions community, which is my private community that I created for everyone who wants to learn more about Pinterest. As of today, we have more than 100 members already. And to be honest, everyone is doing the same thing. Everyone is growing on Pinterest and we are all in different niches. So some people are in the food niche. Some people are in the home decor niche. We have people from less popular niches as well. So, you know, it's a very supportive community. So if you want to learn more and just surround yourself with people who are doing it on a daily basis, well, this is the place to be. And just to show you where are the members from, we have a bunch of people from United States, quite a lot of European countries and some people from Africa as well. The team from Morocco is getting huge. We have a lot of people from Morocco. So if you are from Morocco and you are watching this, you can meet a lot of cool friends inside of the community. And it's the same when it comes to countries from South Asia, because we have countries like Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Philippines, and so on. So if you want to be a part of the community, you know what to do. The link is in the description. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this quick video was helpful. And if it was, consider subscribing to this channel. See you next time.